Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and this is Top Fives, the only weekly top five show in snowboarding. In this episode, we're gonna be taking a look at the 2020-2021 volume shifted Carvey Cruiser Resort Boards. That's right, boards you're gonna go out and rip a groomer with, really just try to lay a trench, you know, make some nice friggin' turns out there, guys. So let's dive right into it. Number five, the Rome Stalefish. Slightly stiffer version of the Service Dog, which makes it slightly better for carving in my opinion. And it's got a directional cam rocker camber profile. So you got that camber under the foot to really drive it into the turns and get that snap out of there. But you got that rocker with the 3D shaping that just helps it roll from edge to edge a little bit better. Plus if you get into some softer snow, it's not going to suck. Number four, the Nidecker Mosquito from their Snow Surf line. Basically, in my opinion, it's like you took a Telos Backslash and a K2 Cool Bean and you put it into one and this is what you get. It's a board that's got enough power out of the tail to slingshot you out of a turn, but it's still got that torsional flex that really lets you center twist it and drive it through the turns the way you want to. Basically, it turns the groomers into just giant, rolly little surf turn bank slalom type areas. Absolutely amazing. Number three, the United Shapes Orbit. This board locks in on edge and it actually has a stiffer tail, which really lets you just push and pop it out of turns. It's also fun when you get into soft snow, you can really slash with it. Plus who doesn't like riding on a small little micro swallow tail? The nose is easy to get up and over anything in front of you, but it doesn't buckle when you have to push through hard chunder and chop. And this should be no surprise, I own one, the Telos Backslash. Sure, it's supposed to be a volume shifted power board for surfing the white wave, but my God, when you get this thing on edge, does it rip turns. You can just feel it engage, lay it over, really drive hard into that turn and know that you're locked in. Honorable mentions, all great boards, but just barely didn't make it on this list. The Rosinal Sashimi, the K2 Cool Bean, the Battalion Camel 2. Like I said, great boards, but just barely didn't make it on this list. And the number one volume shifted resort Carvey Cruiser board for 2020-2021 is the Yes Optimistic. I know some of you were butthurt this didn't make it on my carving board list, but there was a reason for it. I knew it was gonna be number one in this category. So if you want a volume shifted board that's stiffer, and believe me, this is the stiffest board on this list, this is it. You can drive so hard on this board, especially when you initiate off that front foot and then push that back foot into the center of the board to get it to slingshot in and out of turns. If you like laying trenches and you don't want to boot out and you like yes snowboards, this is the board for you. This has been my top five list of Carvey Cruiser volume shifted boards for 2020, 2021. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you gonna buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this list. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of these videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really wanna support us and you just wanna see us grow out with what we're doing over here, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Averin Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.